day, folks. Today, I will show you how to prepare some barbecue ribs, tender barbecue ribs that well, tasty, and fully smoke without using an indoor or outside grill. What I'd be using on these ribs would be some liquid smoke. Liquid smoke that I have a teaspoon of this liquid smoke I'll add to three cups of water and I just emerge the ribs in that water and then put it in a baking pan and this ribs will be baked for about an hour. And after it's finished baking I would take it from the pan and add the barbecue sauce that is homemade that I made yesterday. First of all, I'll have to clean the ribs by pulling the excess fat or the skin. You can see here, I'll have to pull this off. When that is off, this will have to make the ribs a little more tender. Move any excess fat. Next step would be to add the marinade, which would be the water and liquid smoke. So I'll add two cups or three cups of water to this pan. Add a tablespoon of rice liquid smoke. And now I just by using a, a glove with this liquid smoke, I would recommend using a glove when you on a marinade this because the liquid smoke is like acid. I just dip this inside and you don't have to let it stay for no made of time. You just dip it in as long as it's well coated with water and that smoke. You're gonna take it out and transfer it into the bacon pan. Now if you're using in my case I want to use in one slab of rib. But if you're using a quantity of rib and you have a large pan you have you just have to spread them out like this one here put the next one on the side like that then you can just crisscross and you can come back and then put it there a rib. I would advise you to go up more than three three layers of ribs. So this now it will be placed in the baker for about an hour to bake. If you have a, in my case I'm using a cover. If you have foil paper, that would be just as good or maybe better. Because that can tighten up right, right around the, the edge and we keep the air in. So next step would be that this rib should go into the baker for an hour. After it comes out, I would put cover it with sauce, homemade barbecue sauce, and I place it under the salamander or the stove, which would be a grill. Instead of me having to use an outside grill, I'd be using a grill that's on the stove itself. And this rib should come out where the meat would be dropping off the bone.
thanks for watching. And I hope this video has been of some interest to you. If it is, I would like for you to hit the subscribe button. Also, click on the bell that you can be notified of any new content. And leave a comment so that we can get to meet. I'll see you in the next video.